You want to go to jail? Yep. Why would you want to go to jail? He's wanting to go to jail. About the only thing. What do you want to go to jail for? No comment. No comment. Nope. What do you keep doing that for, man? There's, these had to be behind you. I said, shut up till we figure this out. I don't have a body for you. Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. Today's story was submitted to me by the channel Accountability for All. A viewer of his channel named Jeffrey reached out to him for help with this incident. Jeff had gotten into an argument with his girlfriend. There was no physical altercation, but Jeff deals with various mental health issues. That night, he left with the intention of going to a hospital and called 911, but alleges that no dispatch was made for him. He began walking to the nearest police department and eventually waved down a passing officer of the Knightstown Police Department. When the officer stops, Jeff throws a screwdriver away from him and surrenders himself to the officer. What's that? Hold on a second. You're looking for the police station? What's going on? Right there. What did you do? Nothing. I'm preventing myself. Were you trying to hurt yourself? Nope. Well, let me, let me see what's going on with you. Okay? Yep. Were you th thinking about hurting somebody else? Like did you hurt somebody? Nope. Uh, feelings wise. Feelings wise? Yep. Okay. Just stand up for me. Let's we'll just talk for a minute and figure out what's going on, okay? I don't uh, need to know. I I'll get that. I'll get that. Yep. Do you have ID with you? Uh, just stand right here for me. Officer McCorkle pats Jeff down and retrieves his ID. Jeff is placed in the cruiser while the deputy makes a phone call to his superior, and Jeff informs the officer of the screwdriver's location. Uh, you walk back about one and B. I have a shank. Yeah. This McCorkle. Yeah, he had a screwdriver on him and said he was thinking about hurting somebody. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've got him cuffed up right now. I mean. Uh, you can if you want. I mean, I've got him cuffed. He's cooperative sitting in my car right now and trying to keep him warm. The officer confirms that backup is responding and asks Jeff if he wants to seek mental health care at a hospital. In the body cam video, you can see that Jeff has placed his handcuffed hands behind his knees to make himself more comfortable. Fully aware of his condition, he warns the officer that he should fix the handcuffs in case he gets aggressive. Would you like to go to the hospital and talk to somebody? Yeah, I'll get your phone. So, can you fill me in a little bit what's going on? Because I'm kind of at a loss. I guess you called IMPD or something? Yep. Who are you wanting to hurt? Nobody. I just want to be picked up. 803. You want to go to jail? Yep. Why would you want to go to jail? Just because. Okay, well, I just can't take you to jail for no reason, you know? Don't, yep. don't do you that, okay? Yeah, you can take me to jail, because I'm Because why? I'm getting out of this. Well. Just relax, okay? Look at me, I'm not here to hurt you. I understand, but I can get out of these cuffs. Okay, put it in well front I can me, fix I can fix those, okay? And that that's not gonna be an issue, I, I promise, okay? That's just if I turn on a, into aggressiveness. Huh? If I turn to aggressiveness, well you can do I mean we Yeah, well I don't wanna hurt you and that's yeah, where that leads you to you and okay? I both don't. So just put Huh? You and I both don't want to go there, so just Go to town hall. 
You get in a fight with your, you have an old lady? Do I need to check on somebody? She's fine. Who's she? On the same one as on your ID? Yes. And who lives there? What is her name? You want you want you go around? Alright. We can go there if you want. She's literally up Okay. The next. Alright, I'll have somebody else check on her, okay? She's fine. Dispatch eight oh three. There. Let me, let me, this is going to be very comfortable for you. Let's get this figured out, okay? No, to... let's not, let's not do that. Okay. Just, just, there we go. There we go. Yeah. You're more flexible than me, that's for sure. All I can do is pull it forward. Okay, okay. just forward do me a favor. Yep. This can be a little weird, but just put right there to stay like that, okay? The officer requests a welfare check at Jeff's residence and attempts to help Jeff feel more comfortable by adjusting the handcuffs and making room for him in the front seat of the cruiser. But as the officer clears the trash from his front seat, Jeff maneuvers the handcuffs to his front again. What do you keep doing that for, man? Don't, okay? That's not making anything, any, especially when I got my back to you, man. That's not smart. Well, I know, I got your knife right over there and you're slipping your cuffs. And I'm right here, okay? This, these had to be behind you. We're not doing it. No, you're definitely not good. When well, I'm driving, I want somebody to kick me in the back of the head or something, okay? Henry County Sheriff's deputies begin to arrive on scene. So let's try this one more time. Keep... He had that on him. He just, I just had me drive my see him walking, and he says he had a shank on, tossed it, and got in a kneeling position. And he keeps, he says he was wanting to hurt somebody, but. Mirandize him? Nope. No. And but he keeps please. bringing these cuffs out in front of him, so that's an issue. So now I have to re-apply these cuffs again. He's got a couple lighters on him because he's got sweats and the jeans on. He's wanting to go to jail. That's the only thing. In it, right? What do you want to go to jail for? No comment. No comment? I mean, uh, that the only charge I could get on him really right now is maybe a PI. Just resisting arrest? No, we don't want to go there. At this point, the officers put Jeff's handcuffs back to the rear of his body and secure them to his belt with a second pair of cuffs to prevent him from moving them to the front again. You don't have any of those uh, elbow restraints, do you? The you know what I'm talking about? So what's your f***ing problem tonight? Hmm? Nothing. Where's your shoes? They're in here. I already put them back here. You need to take them off to put them on. Right. I'm a little tight that you guys don't like me. Uh, Why don't we like you? Off on the back to the front, so. No, I don't like that when you keep slipping your cuffs. That's not yeah. good. Let's oh. go. Henry, go. We put him behind him. Yeah, I'll have to take him off again. <sighs> been drinking tonight? Something like that. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Hmm? I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't know who you are. I don't trust you. Do you understand? Yeah, I, mean, I think I may have stopped you before. Did you used to have a... Yeah. You used to drive your girlfriend's yeah. car? Yeah. You had like a suspended suspend license or something? What was the deal? Would you speed him? Man, this thing is right here. Let me just get another set of cuffs and cuff it to his belt loop. I'm just tired of doing this. Can you hold your light down there?
Officer McCorkle puts his ungloved hands all over the straw for a breathalyzer that Jeff puts in his mouth to get a blood alcohol level, and the deputy on scene begins escalating unnecessarily. I only had one drink, the other one's still at the house. Okay. Oh, Boko. This thing takes forever. Don't you just shut your f mouth till we figure this out, okay? Shut up! What? You shut your fucking mouth till we figure this out. You understand? Huh? I don't have a body cam. Okay? Shut your mouth. Sort of ID in him. I don't know. Are they going to take a PI on an 04 in this county after he said we had two yeah. drinks? They will? Okay. I mean, it's saving from hurting somebody. I see the other side of the story. Yeah. If he thinks we could ID him, so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Huh? Pull sample. Pull send what? Pull send your ass to jail. That's where he's wanting to go. The other two officers do nothing to calm down the unprofessional deputy. In fact, Officer McCorkle seems to walk away and turn around, aiming his body cam away from the deputies that aren't equipped with body cams, each time the rude one starts running his mouth. They wait on scene for almost 10 more minutes, during which Jeff becomes uncomfortable with his hands cuffed behind him and the seat moved all the way forward. He asks to be placed in the back seat so he has more room, but is denied. I get too much garbage in the back seat. What are you doing? Put your fucking feet down, motherfucker. Can't get put in the back? No! No, you're not getting right in there. the back, man. Keep your feet down. Don't act like a fucking child, moron. You're already acting like a child. Don't move this forward. Roll up, Don't get fucked up, buddy. Listen to me. We're good, okay? Get the f off my forehead! Well, sit back! Get the f away before you f up! Oh, Stop, like okay? Back. Stop, like okay? That. Place camera. Get the f back. Stop, okay? If, you, if, 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 if your hands go any further, you're gonna get tased. Do you understand? Yep. Don't try to put your hands in front of you. Stop. You understand? Stop. Chin. That's yeah, right, it was right chin. there. I can do that. You're going to act All stupid. Right. All right. Act now, stupid. Now, now you are going to jail. Yep. Stop acting stupid. Thank you. Do you have any leg restraints? Go ahead and send me to. Uh, no. All I have is a belt. Go ahead and send it. One of the deputies reaches into the cruiser, grabs Jeff's forehead, and slams it into the headrest behind him. Officer McCorkle tases him in the face. Shortly afterward, Jeff was taken to jail for resisting arrest and was released on his own recognizance, and the charge against him was dropped almost immediately. In a report written by Travis Week of the Courier Times, records indicate that Henry County's department policy prohibits the use of a taser on the areas of the head and neck due to the possible medical complications and a lack of of effectiveness. A judge assigned a special prosecutor to look into the case, but found no excessive force was used. A separate investigation is reported to be underway. The welfare check of Jeff's girlfriend turned out that she had not been assaulted. Complaints have been filed, and Jeff plans on suing the officers and the department. One of the biggest issues in this encounter is that Jeff knew that he needed help, and went out of his way to try to do the right thing. He shouldn't have tried to slip his cuffs, but that certainly doesn't warrant the violence these officers inflicted upon 
upon him for trying to be comfortable. I imagine that if Jeff ever experiences a need to call for help, the last thing he's going to do is call the people who treated him this way. Keep in mind that until this deputy showed up on scene, Officer McCorkle seemed generally compassionate of Jeff's crisis and appeared as though he intended to help. It wasn't until this deputy arrived and exacerbated an already fragile situation that violence was introduced. This deputy is certainly the last person I'd want to respond to a call for anyone I know. Let me know how you feel about the encounter. Jeff is currently doing well and seeking treatment. He now volunteers at a local animal shelter. Self-harm and the desire to hurt others is never a solution to any problem. If you are experiencing a mental crisis, reach out for help. There are numbers that you can call other than 911 listed below that can offer services to get you assistance. A big thanks to Josh over at Accountability for All for making me aware of this incident. He's a great auditor, makes awesome content, and has a bunch more videos like this. Be sure to head over there and let him know I sent you. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like to submit for review, use the link in the description or pinned comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content. And remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy our content, try our other channels, Blackluster Limited for criminal psychology content and The Odd Side for paranormal videos. Shirts and other merchandise are available at the Teespring store. Memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to help further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All links are down below.